welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime. Guess what? This week we have National Princesses Day. That's on November 18th. So today's theme is going to be about princesses. But we're going to read about my friend. Her name is Princess Peepers. And she is very unique. She's her own person. And I really like that about her. And she loves wearing her glasses. So... Before we go ahead and start our story, let's sing our story time song. We welcome you to story time, story time, story time. We welcome you to story time. We'll all have lots of fun. Okay, guys, enjoy Princess Peepers. Princess Peepers by Pam Calvert, illustrated by Tuesday Morning. Princess Peepers loved to wear glasses. In fact, she had different glasses for every occasion. One of her favorite were the bug glasses she wore for her annual bug hunt. She also liked the sparkly ones that went with her Halloween costume. And her very favorites were her rose-colored glasses that matched her rose-colored roller skates. But all that changed when she attended the Royal Academy for Perfect Princesses. Oh, my, 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 one princess sputtered as Princess Peepers entered the room. What are those on top of her nose? Another princess laughed. <laughs> it's an extra set of eyeballs, Grumbelina. You're wrong, said another. She's an owl, not a princess. Giggles and snorts filled the room. Just then, the grand matron bustled into the classroom. Princesses, the royal ball will take place tonight. You will meet the grand prince. Princess Grumbelina whispered loudly, Peepers better not show up with those horrible spectacles, or she'll be a horrible spectacle. The princesses snickered. Princess Peepers raced out of the room. Peepers ordered a footman to bring her trunk. She dumped in all of her glasses, including the ones on her nose. <laughs> there, she sniffed. Now I won't be different from the other princesses. <laughs> Satisfied, Princess Peepers flounced back to the classroom. She wanted to show Grumbelina and the others that she didn't need glasses, but no one was there. They are in the gardens, I believe, said a lady in waiting. Princess Peepers skipped out of the school toward the royal greenhouse. There's Grumbelina, Peepers said as she ran over to the princess. See, I don't need glasses. Nay, Grumbelina whinnied. Nay, I know the grand matron will agree with me. Where is she? Nay, nay, Grumbelina whinnied again. Knave? Oh, she's with the knave in the dungeon. Thank you. Before she left, Princess Peepers leaned in and whispered, Grumbelina, you really do need to brush your teeth. Peepers trotted off to the dungeon. There was quite a hubbub with guards going hither and thither. It sure smells good in this dungeon, Peepers said. Then Peepers saw the Grand Matron lying on the floor. She was wearing her usual brown and white cloak. Oh, Grand Matron, what have the knaves done to you? Woof! The Grand Matron barked. Roof! They threw you from the roof! Peepers asked. The scoundrels! I'll call the guards at once! The princess turned quickly and bumped into a guard. The guard spilled goo, mud, and string all over her. Holy pumpkins! Watch yourself, guard! Peepers ordered, or you'll spill all over the Grand Matron! I'm very sorry, your highness, the guard said, but I am not a guard. I am the chef, and that is not the grand matron. It's Duke, the royal mascot. Jeepers, Peepers cried, but then the princess remembered the ball. I can't see the prince like this. She dashed to her room to get ready. The princess spent hours dressing herself so she'd look just right for the prince. See, Princess Peepers said to herself, I don't need glasses. When a lady in waiting came to check on the princess, Peepers asked, How do I look? Um, you look, um, 
Remarkable, said the lady in waiting. The princess hurried towards the ballroom. Oh, fairy dust, the princess said. I'm early. But this didn't fluster Princess Peepers. I'll work on my dance steps while I'm waiting. So she whirled and twirled around the room, the way she would dance with the prince that night. But she whirred and whizzed and bobbled and blurred right out the... Window! Ah! Peepers screamed. Flump! Holy glass slippers, Peepers cried. I'm so glad this horse was here. She patted the horse on the head. Madam, the horse said, I am Prince Peerless, last I checked. The prince, she cried. Oh, magic mirrors, I do need my glasses. You wear glasses, the prince said. Why, so do I. It was love at first sight. After they put on their glasses... And they lived happily ever after. The end. Okay, so for today's craft, we're going to go ahead and make some crazy glasses. Um, I found this template here. It's got um, four different styles. Um, You can pick the one you like the best or do all four. I'm going to go ahead and do all four. Um, You'll need scissors to cut them out. this here is just printed on paper, but I printed the original on cardstock, and um, I'm going to go ahead and cut them out off camera because um, when I tried it earlier, it took me like 24 minutes to cut them all out, and yes, I calculated. Um, so you'll want to go ahead and do that on your own time. Um, you'll need the scissors, of course. Um, you need something to color the glasses. I'm going to use markers. You can use markers crayons, colored pencils, paint, food coloring, whatever you'd like, oil pastels, chalk. Um, And then to make them really funky, um, I picked out collage materials. I'm gonna put them out on this tray later, but I have pom-poms, I have googly eyes, I have little star confetti, and I have feathers. That's what I decided to use. Um, You don't have to use collage materials. Um, Some of the other things you could use probably are like little flowers, stickers, cotton balls, gems, rhinestones, whatever you can think of. Um, Or you can just color it um, funkily, crazily. I don't know how to say that. Um, But if you do use collage materials, you'll need glue. I'm just using tacky glue. You don't need something this strong. It's just this is the only thing I have in a bottle. And then I have tape um, to attach the arms to the um, glasses later. Um, You can use glue, a glue stick, um, whatever you'd like. Um, But I just, I just think tape will hold better for me. So why don't we go ahead? I'm going to go off camera, cut up the glasses and we'll get started. Okay, so now that I have everything all cut out, um, I decided to color my glasses with the markers and I wanna make them kind of plain because I'm gonna use the collage materials after um, and glue them on to make them kind of pop and make them crazy. Um, These little ones, I decided to use the stars. So I'm just gonna use a black background, kind of like space. Um, The round ones is what I'm gonna use the googly eyes on. Um, So I thought a nice hot pink would be a nice background. The hearts are what I'm gonna use the pom-poms on. I thought a purple background with the pink and red pom-poms. And then I like the feathers with this kind of blue. It's kind of like a peacock. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and color all these and then we'll move on to the next step. colored now, including my fingers. Look at that. Yay! Um, In hindsight, I'd recommend doing lighter color to darker color if you're using markers, because I got a little bit of purple on here, or black, or whatever. 
And I hope you don't mind I colored the arms off camera because I just figured you'd seen me color enough and I'm not the fastest colorer, just like I'm not the fastest cutter. Um, but so here we are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the arms and set them aside so that I can work on my glasses with the collage materials. Now remember, um, I'm using my glue for that and probably gonna need scissors to cut the feathers down a little bit for my peacock one. Um, just remember that you don't have to use collage materials. You can use, um, you can color it all up with your markers, crayons, colored pencils or paints, food coloring, whatever, to make these funky and crazy. Um, I just have all these collage materials, so I thought it'd be fun to use them. So here we go. So here they are, um, I'm letting them dry. You can see, um, as usual, I used too much glue. <laughs> so we'll let them dry for a little bit and then we'll come back and attach the arms and we'll be done. Okay, so yeah, these dried pretty nicely. Um, I don't know, they're a little damp still, but dry enough, what we're gonna do is take all the tabs and fold them back, just like that. We got the one. This part's really easy. This is the part you'll need tape or glue or a glue stick or whatever you're using to hold it on. I'm just using tape because I have tape right here. <laughs> and I think actually tape would hold up better with kids but that's just my opinion okay so then you have the arms of everything now if you're putting it on a smaller head you can cut it um, you know it's this long you can kind of cut it off to where you need to um, but otherwise I'm just gonna tape it right on you can tape it straight to the back I'm gonna go around I made it crooked. That's okay. My glasses are always crooked. I got a crooked head. Something like that, right? Okay, so that's one. Just go ahead and do the other ones and then we'll see how they turn out. I really hope you enjoyed making your crazy glasses. I love these ones with all the little googly eyes on them. I love them all, actually. Okay, well, that's all for this week, and we're reading Virtuous Storytime. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.